Hey, it's Guillaume from Inner Games, and today we're going to talk about project management, which is key to success, even if you're a solo developer or a video game studio. Usually people hate it because they think they're losing their time not producing, but I think that it's just overly complicated as it is. You pay for another software, it's separated, it's not practical. So today I'm going to show you how to integrate project management right into Notion so that you keep using the same tool every day and everything is connected with your notes, with your tasks, all for free. So then, you can get rid of your paid subscription software. We also talk about automation, how we can make your life easier. So if you care about that, please leave a like and let's go. So first of all, I'm going to show you my previous workflow to see how it was going and why I should update. So here we are in ClickUp. Uh, I have a paid uh, subscription for small teams. And the good thing about ClickUp is that it manages uh, sprints. So you have some statistics, all the tasks in a, as a list. And the bad thing is, if, even if you have the paid plan, you cannot access all the features. And I don't like this. I prefer that when you pay, you get access to everything. And if you grow, if you get new members of your team, you pay more. But to have restrictions like this, it's painful to me because during the trial I, I got access to everything and used to it. There are also um, a Gantt view which is very cool. You can see some colors depending on the status. But for a daily purpose it's not great because I, I see some bugs. Like if I want to move all the sprints, you see, it doesn't move the, the task with it. It is very painful when you have to reschedule, it's not good. I, sh I expect this to move, yes, like this, but uh, sometimes it's not working and so it ruins all the purpose. You can customize some fields, but only on the paid version. So it's quite a limiting people also. Um, speaking of tracking, it's very important, not only where are you on the project, but how long did you take for every task. So I use personally Harvest, which is a tracking tool and I can directly create some tasks from ClickUp and I can find them in Harvest. We are on the website, but each of the application have a mobile version. Now, I also have Notion. I assume that you have too for keeping track of meetings, of documentation. I use the para method, so P for project, A for arrears, R for resource, and A again for archive. It's, uh, so it's just a way of organizing things in Notion. So areas are like uh, big fields that you work on, like video games, software development, etc. And resources are subdomains, like a specific part of, uh, of the field. Video games, you are game design, level design, etc. And if you open a resource, you can see all the notes that are related. So it's another database and uh, the favorite one, web clips when they have, have a linked. Yes, it's a way of organizing the notes. So, Like I said before, having two tools is quite of painful and it's not pushing you to use them. So what if you can stop your paid subscription, click up, they're gonna raise their prices in the next month and go only with Notion for free. In Notion, you can create also some databases for task management. You just have to remade what was made in, uh, in ClickUp and we'll see that the latest feature of Notion allowed us to work like that. So here I created a new page, Task Management, where I can see my task in some views that may not be in ClickUp, so it can even be better. So we get the calendar view. Even you can open in Notion calendar, which is new, and it's connected. Uh, all your agendas are connected in one place. It's very useful. Again, it's uh, make your life easier. It's the opposite of having several software, etc. It's concentrated in one place. So you can see your task in calendar view, also in project. So if I click on my project, I can see all the notes like before, the documentation, but now I have also the tasks and I can organize it by sprint, like in ClickUp. So if I zoom in, I can see the list of tasks. I feed the database like in ClickUp with every element, but I'm not limited in the field I use. And I, I can even use formulas in Notion to display the information like I want. This is the timeline view, and you see this uh, straight lines. 
are dependencies. So if I move one, the other will follow and it's working well. I can organize different views. So make some lists, make some Kanban. So now you can work on your project, just open Notion, and you have everything directly on one page. The notes, the task, it's really easy. Remember when I talked about uh, tracking? I use hours now, right? But sadly, it's not integrated into Notion. So I got to figure out another way of doing things. And I went with another software, which is called Tmetric. Basically, it does the same thing. So you, you can track some entries, get some project, etc. But you can install a browser extension that make it right into Notion. So here you have a task and you can see there on the, on the top right, there is a, a way to start a timer and select some tags directly into Notion. So again, one place, one action, very easy. I got my new setup, but my problem was I already made my plan into ClickUp. So I had to find a way to migrate all the data from ClickUp to Notion. And I could go there and uh, start uh, adding back all the tasks, but it would be very painful. So <laughs> again, I don't like that. So I went to use a new software, which is Make, and it's a software previously was called Integromat, and it specialized in uh, automation. So I made like a, a scenario as they say, that could bind data between the two software. And you see there is no code. It's only uh, like a, di a diagram to visually program programming. You can add modules. You have uh, many application, you know, that you can connect. So I just connected the two. And then you can see some notes here. So I just have to think which data is connected to which data. And you have to think about the different scenarios like uh, does this task already exist in Notion? If not, I create it. If yes, I just update it. Simple as that. Here, for example, to create a database item, I can select data from ClickUp into Notion. Sometimes I can do simple math or simple formula. So that's the power of automation. Once you made your scenario, uh, you can run it and it will migrate all of the, the tasks from ClickUp to Notion. But you can see many use cases. For example, here I made a very simple scenario uh, that, that watches over Notion and each time a task is created, it will copy over some properties like the project. Because when I create a task that is under another task, it's obviously the same project. Let me show you in action. Here I will create a task, a subtask, and manually I would have to select the project, which is again painful. So that's the power of automa automation. It will automatically assign the project, just what I did manually. You could imagine every process that's painful, you can do it with Make and it's free. Automation exists in Notion, but again, it's a paid version regarding the centralization of data. Uh, T-Matrix, like I showed you, is very useful to capture the, the, the time. It can make some reports, which is uh, useful. But I like to have the data directly in Notion. So I don't have to leave again the software and I could make stats and see the information directly. Here you see the predicted time and the, the spend time. So I had to find a way to take back the data from T-Matrix to Notion. I could make it with Make. You know, yeah, yeah, there are connectors also for this software. But while I was looking for uh, an automation program, I found windmill.dev, which basically does the same thing as Make. It's free too. But I found it more suitable for a developer. If you're a developer, you can like this. It can be on the cloud like Make, and you have 1,000 free operations per month, the same for Make. But for Windmill, you can deploy it yourself and have no restriction for free, again, uh, or the cost of your deployment. So here in Windmill, I made a little script um, to be able to, once a day, uh, at the end of the day, it takes the data, the tracking data from Tmetric, and 
um, report it back to Notion so that it's uh, hosted there. So here on my little script, I can set the date. So usually it's the day before. The difference with Make is that you can directly type code like in TypeScript and call the API of your software like Notion. And so it's better because with Make you are restricted uh, with the connectors that they, they give you. Here, if you know how to code, you can manipulate data easier. So yeah, I uh, every day I get all the tasks of the day in Tmetric. I make a loop and then I get the Notion data. So it's a pre-made connector, it's a pre-made script. I get the Notion page and I add it back with the Notion API, like I said, the time, which is very useful. So then after in Notion, I'm able to, to see the time spent. Automation is very cool. It can help you earn some time in your day every day. Which one do you prefer? Tell me in the comments. So now I hope that you want to boost your own project management system. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask in comments, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to not miss the future productivity act like this. See you soon.